Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here, and this uh, lesson is section 9.2 uh, on related hundreds and decimals. So it's just like the other one. So uh, our common core strand on this is uh, it's going to allow us to understand decimal notation for fractions and compare decimals with fractions. So the essential question is like the last one, except it's in hundreds, not tenths. So how can we record hundreds as fractions and decimals? All right, so the, this one's going to go pretty fast. All right, recall, um, uh, this is, I had this in the last lesson. This is the hundreds position. This is the tens position. This is the ones. Remember what that's called right there? That's called the word and. So this is and, and this is the tenths position, the hundreds position. Okay, we're not going to deal with these probably this week, maybe tomorrow. Maybe the next lesson is the thousands, and then we go to ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. That's later on. We're only going to be dealing up to uh, the hundredths spot. So that's two two digits past the decimal. Okay, remember the decimal is our word for and. All right, so let's try a problem here. So in 2008, in the 2008 Summer Olympic Games, uh, the winning time in the men's 100 meter butterfly race was only one one hundredth. One hundredth. Did you hear me say the th? One one hundredth second faster than the second place time. That is incredibly close. Uh, probably couldn't even tell who won. You needed uh, someone, to, you know, the, the computers. So what decimal representation represents uh, uh, represents this fractions in sec of a second? Okay, so circle the number that you need to use. Okay, we need to use this one one hundredth right there. So let's go ahead and circle that right there. Okay, and then uh, uh, you can write uh, hundredths as fractions or decimals. Okay, so one way is to use a model and a place value chart. Okay, so we're going to do both. So here's the model right here. So and a place value chart over here. Okay, so right here it says shade one one hundredth of, of this model. Well, this model is 10 by 10, so there's 100 little squares in there, so we're just going to shade one of them. I'm going to shade that little one right there, okay? And that, that little guy is going to represent one out of the 100 shaded, so it's 1 100th, so it's red, 1 100th. Okay, as a decimal, the 1 is in the 100th spot, so this is the 10th spot, this is the 100th spot, so I put 1 right there. Okay, there is no tenths, so it's zero. So it's 0 0.01, so we're going to write it as 0 0.01, and it's red 1 one hundredth, just like that. Okay, just look at where's this last uh, digit go, and it's in the hundredth spot. This is the tenths, this is the hundredths, so this is 1 one hundredth. So the decimal 1 one hundredth as a fraction 1 one hundredth. Okay, all right, another way is to use a number line. Let me get rid of this bar here. I'm at school, so my computer at school doesn't let me uh, uh, have a wider screen. So label the number line with the equivalent, uh, equivalent decimals. Locate the point one one hundredth. Okay, so right here, here's zero one hundredths. I would not do this unless they gave this to me, you guys. I would not make a number line with uh, between zero and one and cut it up into a hundred equal pieces. I, I, I would goof up just like you guys would. Uh, so hopefully they would give this to you, and I notice they do in the book and your workbook also. Okay, so uh, so I've, we've divided it up into from zero to one, and I divided it up into a hundred. If you if you had the time and wanted to, I don't want to, but there's a hundred of them, hundred equally spaces right there. Okay, so if um, if 20 over 100 is 0 0.20, then 30 over 100 is going to be 0 0.30, 0 0.30. This is going to be 0 0.40, 0 0.50, 0 0.60. Okay, we want to find 1 100th. One That's going to be 0 0.01. That's going to be that little guy right there. Okay, so uh, there's my 1 100th one as a fraction. There's uh, 1 100th one as a decimal, 0 0.01 right there. And then all of these guys are what we talked about before. So uh, they become uh, 0 0.30, 0 0.40, 0 0.50, all the way up to 0 0.90. Okay, right here, this is 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, 0 0.94, 95, 96, 0 0.97, 0 0.98, 0 0.99. There's 1.0. Okay, I can do that with this one. Here's uh, 0 0.40, 0 0.41, 0 0.42, all the way up to 0.49, all the way, and then it goes up to 0 0.50. 50, 0 0.50. Okay, all right. So uh, 0.01 uh, names the same amount as 1 100. So this this also says 1 100 because the 1 is in the 100th spot. 
So the winning time was 1 one hundredth of a second faster, or 0 0.01, depending on what kind of mood your teacher is in, how they want you to uh, write that. Explain how the size of one tenth is related to the size of one hundredth. Okay, one tenth is much larger than one one hundredth. The size of one tenth is ten times the size of one one hundredth, you guys. So when you're talking about one tenth, you guys, you know, you got, uh, if I did one tenth of a dollar, that'd be ten cents. But if I did one one hundredth of a dollar, that'd be one cent, one penny. Okay, and ten cents is ten times as big as one cent. All right. Okay, so Lulu won her 400 meter race by four and 25 one hundredths second. Did you hear me say the word and? Four and, so this is like four decimal, four point uh, two five actually, four and 25 one hundredths seconds. How can you write this mixed number as a decimal? Okay, I kind of already said it. Well, one way, the book ways is asking you to use a model in a place value chart. So here it is as a mixed number. They'd like you to shade this model 4 and 25 one hundredths. So I'm going to shade this whole 100 right here, this whole 100 here, this whole 100, this whole 100. This is going to be 4 one hundreds right here and then on this one I'm just going to shade only 25 so I'm going to go down five uh, that's down one two three four five and then over five okay right there so if I did it right did I do it right whoops I think I did four am I one two three four I did I should have shaded it just a little bit more so sorry you guys this should be shaded a little bit more I knew I did that as soon as I was talking to you so it should be shaded right there, okay, also with that right there. And then it's going to be represented, and I'll show you how I'm shading that, you guys. I did, I'm not going to have time to do this, so uh, with you guys, let's see, maybe I will. Let's see if I continue that guy down, and then all the way down to there, and then keep going. This is how I build your lessons. They take, take a long time to build these lessons, so they take me probably a good three hours to build these lessons anyway this one went kind of fast so anyways there it is right there you guys with me okay and I can make it bigger but it's just a little bit harder so all right so uh, it's represented as four and twenty five out of the hundred four and twenty five hundred so it's read four and and is your decimal twenty five one hundredths twenty five hundredths actually okay so here it is uh, with the decimal right here. So um, so the ones is the four. So I'm going to put the four right here. And the tens is that two right there. So there's two tens and five one hundredths. So there's four holes, two tens, five one hundredths. Four holes, two tens, five one hundredths. So four goes here, two goes here, five goes here. Okay, so uh, 4.25 is four and twenty-five hundredths. Okay, easy, huh, you guys? Okay, so another way is to label the number line uh, with equivalent mixed numbers and decimals. Locate the point four twenty-five one hundredths. Okay, so here's four and zero zero one hundredths, four and ten one hundredths, four and twenty one hundredths. So four and twenty-five one hundredths is going to be right there. Okay, I should have put a point there. I don't think I did. Okay, but I should. I can. Do, I can do that right now. I can put a point right there. Um, so there's my four and twenty-five hundredths right there. Okay, so I'm going to represent that as a decimal. This is going to be four point two five. This is going to be four point one zero. This is going to be four point two zero, four point three zero, four point four zero, four point five zero, all the way up to four point nine zero. The spot we want our hero is four point two five. Okay, this is easy, right? It's so easy. It's kind of embarrassing, isn't it? All right, well, and you guys are saying, yes, we like easy work. Well, me too, you guys. Okay, so 4.25 is the same amount as 4 and 25 one hundredths. So Lulu rode her race by 4 and 25 one hundredths of a second. 4.25 seconds, okay? When you guys get in higher math, we just say 4.25, uh, but you're, it's represented as 4 and 25 because the 5 ends in the hundredths, 25 hundredths, okay? All right, so one more set. Let's... Um, uh, write the fraction or mixed number and then the decimal shown by the model. Okay, so here's the first one. All right, so looks like I have, uh, this is out of 100, so there's 100 squares, and out of all of them, I have, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So this is 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. So this is 87 out of 100, so 87 hundredths. That's how I'd represent this. How about this guy? 
Okay, be careful. This one's divided up into tenths, you guys. So this is tenths. This one's all shaded. This is one whole. So this is one and two tenths. Okay, one and two tenths or uh, one and one fifth because two is one uh, is uh, one fifth of, of ten. So this can be reduced to, to one and one fifth. So either one's probably okay for now, you guys. One and two fifths or one and one fifth. Okay, all right. That guy right there. Okay, and I already gave you the answer. Darn it. All right, that's okay though. But there's the, the point right there. So, so that point is out there at 4 and 70. So 4 and 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. So that's at 4 and 77 hundredths right there. Okay, that would be represented as 4.77 uh, if I did that right there. So 4 and 77 hundredths. All right. Okay, if you're finding these uh, videos helpful and you're at home and your parents let you, please uh, like the videos and subscribe too. That would help me. Thanks a lot, you guys. Take care.